First, can you tell, me, tell us how did you come to your work and what's the problem you're trying to solve at Measure? Yeah, thanks for that question. So, you know, in the 19, I'm a storyteller, so I have to tell a story, right? Yes, please. <laughs> In the 1960s and the 1970s, my grandfather, he worked between the Black Panther Party and his community in order to build bridges. You know, my father also marched to be called black and, and, and marched for the, uh, the black power movement. Me, uh, you know, at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement, I was really leading a lot of marches here in Austin, doing a lot of the work in order to fight for, um, for black lives. And so I realized very quickly that I needed to do something a little bit different. And so I created Measure, founded Measure. We are a research and public education organization. We are evaluators, we are data activists that now partner with our community in order to help them increase their data footprint. That's, that's really <laughs> impressive. Um, and I'm curious, how did you first hear about Candid's nonprofit profiles? Yeah, you know, so I have um, some incredible mentors, right? I, I have several mentors, but one in particular asked me when I was talking to him about my idea about measure, what I needed to do, how I needed to get funded, and, and, um, and all of the things that I needed in order to grow. He asked me specifically, do you have, a, did you, you know, do you have your candid profile? Do you have, are you on GuideStar is what he said at that time. And I said, what do you mean? What is, what is GuideStar? And he says, well, Mimi, go take a look, and, and, and it's, it's going to ask you several questions about your mission and, and the things that you do. And mind you, he's also in the philanthropic community, right? And so I did, and once I got there, I realized I was already there because I filed for my 501c3 nonprofit status, I was already there, but what I needed to do was I needed to claim that profile. And so that's, that's how I um, heard about it. That's wonderful. So how have you been using candid profiles in your own work at Measure to advance racial justice? Yeah, again, Measure is a research organization that is led by black women. We are led by black women. I'm going to say that again. We are led awesome. by black women. <laughs> And the work that we do at Measure is that we have what's called the CARE model. It's a 12-step process that we, where we partner intentionally with our community, our black and brown, powerful black, brown, indigenous-led organizations. And so once we get through that 12, once we get to the end of our 12-step um, process, we actually orient them to GuideStar, to, the, to their candid profile. We let them know that it is there and that if they possibly use it, it'll, be, it'll help for them to, you know, to share what their mission is, to share what those metrics are, to share who they are, and actually put them on a national stage for progress. And so that's one, you know, the CARE model is actually one of several tools that we use on Measure, but that one we found has been incredibly powerful to connect organizations to not only um, their own understanding of their mission and the work that they do, but also to, to philanthropy. That's fantastic. So I'm wondering, would you be willing to share an example of a nonprofit that you've worked with at Measure and how get, claiming their candid profile has helped them in their work? Yeah, favorite question by far. Um, so there's, there's several, right? But one in particular, Dr. Courtney Robinson of the Excellence and Advancement Foundation. Um, if you are here in Austin, you know all about her work to dismantle and break the school to prison pipeline by intentionally providing direct support and services to black um, and brown children here in Austin. Um, so it, it, this was my Christmas present. This is, you know, so she texted me um, around December time frame, and she says, "Hey, Mimi, thanks so much for walking us through, you know, developing our guide star profile. I actually just got a funder that reached out to me because they saw my profile on Candid and oh, and and granted me ten thousand dollars. And so we're continually hearing those types of stories from our from our community, and and to me." I feel like that's the evidence that this work is important, that that profile is important, because it is up to us, those that have the ability to create technology or to provide more access to data, et cetera, to actually do justice with, with our tools. And so to me, it, you know, in order to address racism, we have to support and fund the organizations that are on the ground that look like me, that are led by people that look like me, um, you, you know, specifically to go do the work.